Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Certification Sample Paper Discussions. And uh, so far we have covered a lot of questions on the chapter 1 and chapter 2. And today we are getting started with the next chapter which is chapter 3 to talk about the testing methods, techniques and tools related questions. So let's get started and quickly have a look on some of these questions for today. The very first question of the day is question number 25 and here we are saying if an agile team is using a testing tool such as a test management tool who is responsible for ensuring the proper use of the tool that means here we are talking about a team working together number one if the tool is being used by different set of people within the team then who is someone who can educate them who can make sure that the tool is being used efficiently and a proper use of the tool must be a responsibility of someone in the team and who is that and in that context i know of course someone who can really uh, educate people about the testing aspects and testing tools is the tester itself so in that context we are keeping it i think very very straightforward because it's not a developer it's not an architect it's not a business analyst who can let people understand about how a testing tool can be used from the perspective of testing so it's just a person who knows about it and Put together, the right answer here is C. A tester is someone who can certainly educate the people about the use of the tool in terms of proper ways or efficient way of using the same tool at any point of time. Well, moving on to the next question here, if you're talking about the 26, we are having a very interesting question related to the test methods. If the developer adds a test that captures his concepts of the desired functionality of the code and then develops the code to pass that test what type of development is being done i think let me just make it clear when you talk about the test methods we have three different methods to talk about number one we have test driven development number two we have behavior driven development and we have acceptance test driven development so when it comes to testing this particular system using these approaches, they have three unique things to talk about independently. Test event development is an approach where a developer generally looks forward to create a test before writing the code. And this test will be basically written from the functional point of view of a system. And then the desired code will be written in a very tight iterations of writing the code, executing the test, the failure will happen then again writing some more code executing the test until unless the test passes when you talk about the behavior driven development the behavior driven development certainly talks about the test being derived from the behavior as per the user needs and then the development is written or the code is written after that and same way when it comes to the acceptance criteria, and when the tests are de derived from the acceptance criteria directly instead of functionality, instead of user expectations, then it is called as acceptance test driven development. In all the three cases, the development are driven by the test. But the question is, where did the test get derived from? And that's where this question is being asked to you by providing two parameters. One, that we are talking about a test methodology where code is written after the test, but the test is derived right from the functionality. And in that context, we have four options given to us. We have test-driven development, acceptance test-driven development, behavior-driven development, and developer-driven development. I think there's no discussion to be done here and we have the right option, right straightforward here is A, the test-driven development is the approach what this entire question is talking about and a developer makes use of uh, tests being created from the functionalities and at the same time the codes are written later in order to make that test pass. Well, in line with the same, we have question number 27 and here it talks about if it is particularly important for a business user to understand the tests that are being used to verify the proper implementation of the code, what type of development framework should be used? I think when it comes to the business users to understand the test, it has to be driven by the acceptance criteria. No, not at all. That's for the acceptance test driven development. It has to be driven from the 
user needs, the requirements, the expected behavior of the system. And that's where we have already discussed in the previous question to talk about that what are the three different approaches and how the tests are derived from three different things. Now, when it comes to the business users to understand the test, it should be all visited from the business user perspective. So when the tests are being derived from the behavior of the system, you call it as behavior driven development. And that's where keeping it still further very straight point, uh, straightforward, the right answer here is C, behavior driven development is the right answer for this question because of course it is useful to understand that the tests are going to be helpful for business users to understand because it is driven from the, uh, the behavior of the system rather than the functionality or the acceptance criteria. I think put together that particular, particularly you know, give you some quick straightforward concepts. In fact, we did not have anything else to talk and simply you know, extend this tutorial without any context, but certainly it meant that what exactly we have to do in such questions. Given that your concepts are clear, you would be very to the point to get to the right answer. Well, that's all from this short video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your query and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thank you for watching the video team and happy learning.